Hello, everybody. You guys know me. I'm Harry James. Coming up next, we will start the Oklahoma Sooner football preview show. Or at least mine. Uh, week one, the Sooners will play the University of Texas El Paso Miners. We'll preview the UTEP season uh, in review. We'll do that coming up next. Week one, preview, here we go. Bummer Sooner 1982, don't go away. of U-T-E-P. U-T-E-P meaning University of Texas, El Paso. That's the name. Mascot is the Miners. They're uh, from El Paso, Texas. More specifically, make their, son, make their home at the Sun Bowl there in, you guessed it, El Paso, Texas. The record for the Miners last season, 7-5. Dead even 4-4 four and four in conference play last year. They did, however, with a 7-5 and four, uh, five record, make a bowl game. They lost it, however. They lost it to Fresno State, 31-24, in the New, or New, or New uh, Mexico Bowl game. Their head coach, Dana Dibble, it is in his fifth year at UTEP. And, just like Brent Venables, is a graduate from Kansas State. When he got done playing at Kansas State, uh, he did take a couple of uh, uh, assistant jobs till he became a coach, a head coach. And that happened three times in his uh, career in college football. First at Wyoming was there from 97 to 99. They were, however, in two different leagues in that time. 1997 and 98, they were in the WAC. Till 99, when they entered the Mountain West Conference for Wyoming. He then took the Houston. That's right. Houston. Hopefully I did that right for you, Mike Steely. Took that job in 2000. And was there from 2000 to 2002 with the Cougars of Houston, also in Conference USA, before leaving uh, coaching, at least for a while, until 2018 when UTEP brought him back into the head coaching realm. All right. So, that is a preview of UTEP. That is a review of UTEP. Now, let's look at some of the stars coming back for UTEP. QB1 for UTEP. That's quarterback number one. More than likely, that's going to be Gavin Hardison. He wears number two for UTEP. Last season, by the end, he threw for 3,218 yards through the air to match up with uh, 18 touchdowns. Did throw 13 interceptions the other way, however. His longest completion, 76 yards. Staying with the offense, you got to have a good rushing game to, end, to help out that passing game. Helping in Harrison, uh, or Hardison, will be 22, Ronald Awat, Awat, A-W-A-T-T, and Dion Hankins. We'll start with Ronald Awat, Awat. 158 t 
uh, attempts to rush by the end of it. To go with 843 yards on the ground, six pounding touchdowns. Uh, longest, longest run, 53 yards. For Hankins, Deion Hankins, 121 attempts last year on the ground. To go with 500, 458 for him on the ground yards. He also scored six ground touchdowns. His longest run, 45 yards. So we've talked passing. We've talked rushing. Now let's talk receiving. Who's catching Harrison's touchdowns? Well, our balls. A lot of that will go on Tylon Tyron Smith. He wears number one for uh, UTEP. Also, three, Ronald Flores, running back is another, the second leading receiver coming back. We'll start with numero uno, though. Who wears numero uno, number one? Tyron Smith. 33 total tack, uh, uh, catches last year. 570 yards through the air receiving. Four touchdowns. Longest catch, 82 yards. Now, the second leading receiver coming back isn't even a wide receiver at all. He's a running back. And that belongs to... that position belong that part of the running back game at least belongs to Ronaldo Flores 13 receptions last year 240 yards on the ground uh, through the air didn't have a touchdown pass however caught did have a 53 yard touchdown reception last year on offense so that's the entire offense but that's just part of the game let's go over another part of the game defensively not one but two triple tacklers coming back this year for Texas El Paso, including uh, Brent Haywood and Trice Kenite. Bryce Hay Haywood first. Uh, Haywood, Baron Haywood, 108 total tackles last year. To go with uh, zero forced fumbles, zero uh, fumble recovered, zero picks. Linebacker, another linebacker, Tyrese Knight, 101 total tackles last year, uh, zero, uh, two forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, one pick. So we've done offense, done defense. Let's get some special teams out of the way. Punting will be uh, Joshua Sloan. Kicking 40, Gavin Bicelli. We'll start with 13, Josh Sloan. 63 total tackles last year, boys and girls. 40.1 in average. Four touchbacks. Uh, longest punt, 62 yards. And Bicelli, 40. Gavin Bicelli, the kicker, 18 for 24 returning, guys. 75% completion ranking. And... A long kick of the 50 mark. The 50 burger, 5-0. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Harry James. We'll push this week one preview off to the sides into the shipping department. Come back next week. We'll preview week number of dos. Till then, my name's Harry James. You guys know all the rest. You can catch this and all my videos on the YouTube, Boomer Sooner 1982. Also, Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Or the Twindle Hander handle at Hype Man Harry. Alright guys, thanks for watching and boomer sooner everybody. I'm out of here. Peace!